I'm certainly no stranger to scrubs. You can see the arms moving behind me, and they almost look like they're moving independently. This US robot still dominates the market, but it's big, it's heavy, and costs nearly $2 million a pop. But now there's a new British bot on the block. This also aims to help patients heal quicker by performing complicated medical procedures through just a few access cuts. It turns out, stacking tiny blocks is perfect for surgeons in training. Today, only around a third of people who could have keyhole surgery actually get it. It's hoped this small mobile setup will make it more accessible. One of the differences with this design is that it's modular, which also makes it portable, meaning, in theory, even someone like me should be able to move it. Surgeons wear 3D glasses to improve depth perception, while controllers manipulate wristed arms for greater dexterity and precision. One of the troubles with a big robotic system is it occupies the theatre. When you're not doing robotic surgery, very often that theatre is then stands, stands empty. You could fold this up and move it to the theatre next door to colleague number two who wants to use it, honestly, in a few minutes. And there's no tremor because the instrument's taken that away from me. But anything you can give that produces um, the physical strength, it's a win. Yeah. What's amazing is just the, the level of movement. It's like you're playing a, a Nintendo Switch. It looks, it looks uh, like a game, but, it, but it's, it's not a game. This is, this is absolutely. you know, it's it, life and death, quite literally. I can get it exactly where I want it. And it's, it's, it's relatively effortless. Versius has completed more than a thousand operations this year, rolling into several NHS hospitals, including this one in Surrey. It's proving particularly useful amidst the coronavirus pandemic. This operating theatre we're only using because of COVID. We wouldn't be able to get the other robot that we use into this because it's just too tight. All these modules that you can see are much smaller, so we can move them during the operations. You're sort of only constrained by the number of units you can get around the table. But the robotic carts aren't just moved around the one room. Ultimately, long term, it'll also enable us to use the same robot between theatres so you get much more use out of one machine. In future, the devices could even be shared between completely different hospitals. Because the units are so small and can be packed up, um, we could put them on a truck and bring robotic surgery closer to patients rather than have them necessarily travel so far just to one centre. That's not just convenient, it could help relieve pressure on the NHS. Increasing keyhole surgery in this way could help reduce the risk from coronavirus not only to patients, but to medical staff too.